hello students so previously we have finished with the cattle farming and poultry farming under animal husbandry the next topic for this video will be fish production okay how are fishes produced how do we extract them from the water resources which which type of fishes are present and how are they helpful to us right so this all will be studied under this and i have decided uh, divided the topic of fish production into two videos so please uh, listen carefully the topic was not huge but just for you to understand it clearly and efficiently i have divided into two parts so let's start with the first part here now what do fish provide us provide us it is a cheap source of animal protein for our food proteins we get from everywhere but fish is a source of animal protein it is very important that you should differentiate between the type of protein this is the animal protein which a fish provides us that means the proteins which are present in these fishes now what does fish production include how many types of fishes are there and what how are they produced so two types of fish productions fin true fishes normal fishes the other one are shell fish such as prawns and molasses so these are two types which we obtain from the water and they are produced now how do we obtain them from water there are two ways of obtaining fishes first one is from natural resources by capture fishing like you might have seen a uh, beach side or somewhere one or the two fisherman might uh, hold their net put it in the water and extract the fish out so that as they are putting it in the river sea or whatever source of water there it is that is the natural source and that is called as capture fishing right but if we need fishes for large scale for commercial production then we do it from fish farming now what is this fish farming fish farming is nothing but we built an artificial water system with abundant of fishes in it and then we take a huge net from which we take out many many fishes in one go that is not single catch fish that is abundant of fishes coming in the net outside okay so that is what as fish farming done and that fishery is known as culture fishery now it is not necessary that fish farming may be in a artificial system only it might be in the natural system also where we know that where the fishes might be present in large amount for example there is a big huge water system right maybe it a sea maybe it a river maybe anything so in fish farming the extractors know that at which point of the river there might be huge amount of fishes present so they bring the fish nets in the large large size put it in the water and at that point only where they know that the fishes might be present there might be farm of fishes below inside the water so they take the net there only and extract the fishes out that is cultural fishery please do not confuse it capture fishery is when we hold it by any net by any fishing rod right but fish farming is when we put the fish nets entirely into the water to take out abundant of fishes in one go this is how fishes are obtained so you have studied that fish is a source of animal protein two types of fishes finned fishes shell fish such as prawns and mollusks and these are true fishes two methods of obtaining fish are from natural sources one by one by captural fishery for fish farming in abundance by culture fishery right moving ahead as i told you that there are sources of fishes also you have studied that there might be natural resources and fish farming right but we need to study in detail that what type of natural resources and even if natural resources are there in which type of natural resources can be perform the fish farming so water sources of fish are of two types sea water fresh water this we all know since childhood that we have two types of water existing here fresh water as we find in rivers ponds lakes etc and sea water which we find in ocean seas etc right which contains a level amount of salt in it so these are the two water sources two types of fisheries can be seen according to the water sources first is marine fisheries that means the fish catching which is done in 
marine water sources whereas inland fisheries are the fish catching which is done in fresh water resources inland means fresh water so two types of fisheries very simple but let me tell you the one which we have studied here in the first part that there are two types of fishing right do not confuse these are the two types of fisheries that means in the type of water which is used to extract fishes while that is the types the how do we produce those fishes so capture and cultural fisheries in marine water is marine fisheries while same capture and cultural fishery in fresh water is inland fisheries please do not get confused i'm telling it again and again there are two methods that how do we catch fish but where do we catch fish that is also of two types that is marine fisheries and inland fisheries lekin jo type of fish catch catching hai wo dono mein hoti hai right the sources are different and the methods are different that is the only point first let's start with marine fisheries marine water sources in india include 7500 km coastline and deep seas beyond them now we also know that marine sources in india are coast lines what do we which seas lie near our coasts arabian sea bay of bengal right so those are the seas present there and those are only the source of marine water marine fish species are which which pomfret mackerel tuna sardines bombay duck now these five examples you need to learn by heart right that these are example of marine fish species they might come mcqs where you have to distinguish between marine and fresh water fish species so please learn these species by heart right moving ahead these marine fishes are caught by using fish nets from fishing boats as i have told you fishermen travel in their boats they carry a lot of nets with them they put it in the, that point only where the fishes are present and take the fishes out in abundance right or they might even catch one by one by rod depending upon the amount they want to take it out for example if any person wants to take fish out of its own interest then that is capture fishing because he take out he might take out one or two right but if an, if a fisherman has to take out the fishes for its sale in the market he takes out in a huge abundance so that is done by using fish nets large schools of fishes in the sea are located using satellites and eco sounders this is the same point which i have been telling you again and again that there are some points in the seas rivers or lakes wherever where you need where you know that fishes might be present in abundance at this this point only and certainly these points how are these located because it is deep inside the sea how do we know so these are located with the help of satellites and eco sounders with the help of these two products we can take the fishes we can locate the area inside the water where exactly the fishes might be present marine fishes of high economic value includes mullets bait ki pearl spots now these are marine fishes which are of high economic importance that means these are some fishes which are used to make further certain products also they have high economic value means they might be having high sale in the market inka zyada paisa milta hai that is what they have high economic importance right also some other marine fishes which involves formation of different products besides eating them people also use fishes for making of certain products like shellfish such as prawns mussels oysters and seaweeds they are used for pearl formation you might have heard the jewelry of pearl is so common like the females which we they wear right so which shellfish helps to make that jewelry oysters so this is how they are of commercial importance of high economic value right demands for more and more fishes can be met by cultural fishery this cultural fisheries means the one which i have told you by fish farming right that they can even create an artificial system and take the fishes out but that creating of artificial system and taking a lot many nets out for commercial production that is culture fishery and for marine it is called as mariculture right they have two different names in both the cases in marine water reservoirs where we take out 
ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ फिशेज बाई प्रैक्टिसिंग कल्चरल फिशरी दोज आर कॉल्ड एज मैरी कल्चर लास्ट इज इनलैंड फिशरीज फ्रेश वाटर सोर्सेज वी नो रिवर पॉन्ड्स केनाल्स एक्सेट्रा सम ब्रैकिश वाटर रिसोर्सेज आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट नाउ वॉट आर दीज ब्रैकिश वाटर रिसोर्सेज दीज आर सम रिसोर्सेज वेयर वी हैव कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ मरीन एंड इनलैंड वाटर दैट मीन्स जहाँ पे सी का भी थोड़ा सा पानी आ रहा हो बट मेजोरिटी ऑफ वाटर फ्रेश वाटर का होता है ठीक है सो दे मिक्स टूगेदर एंड दे फॉर्म एस्चुरीज एंड लगूंस सो दे ऑल्सो फॉर्म इम्पॉर्टेंट वाटर रिजर्व है जहाँ से वी कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट मोर एंड मोर फिशेज सो दैट बिकम्स अ पॉइंट ऑफ इनलैंड फिशरीज बोथ टाइप्स ऑफ फिशरिंग्स आर डन हियर कैप्चर फिशरी ऑल्सो एंड कल्चरल फिशरी ऑल्सो आई टोल्ड यू दैट कल्चर फिशरी इज नेम डिफरेंटली इन बोथ द केसेज एज इन मेरीन फिशरीज वी कॉल दैम एज मैरी कल्चर सो इन इनलैंड फिशरीज वी कॉल दिस कल्चर एज एक्वा कल्चर प्लीज डो नॉट फर्गेट इट it is a little like i can say not even boring not even tricky not even tough it is just it has certain things to remember right baki it is very simple based on our daily lives only you just need to link some things with it and you need to learn these examples as well right any doubt here in types of fisheries how is fish production done why is done please let me know further i will take you to more details of fisheries in the next video thank you very much